guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Julie. I'm going to be doing a special effects tutorial for grayscale in Game of Thrones. Again, Game of Thrones, because I'm a big fan. It's something that's contracted as a disease that spreads from wherever the person that has it touches you um, on the skin. So it could be on your face, it could be on your hand. The tale is in Game of Thrones that once it starts spreading, it takes over your entire body and you start acting animalistic and not yourself anymore. And the people that get it get banished to this one area um, in this world that they've created. Now today, I'm going to be doing it on my face. The products I'll be using today are Ben Nye Nose and Scar Wax, a palette knife, CoverGirl True Blend Foundation, which is I5, an Elmer's glue stick to block out my eyebrows, as well as liquid latex, which is flesh colored, and I think I got this at a Halloween store somewhere. Ben Nye Neutral Set, a little bit of petroleum jelly, which you can get at the dollar store, just to line around my hair so that I don't get any liquid latex in it by accident. Optional things that you can use for this look are the Ben Nye Death Wheel, the Ben Nye Bruise Wheel, and or Skin Illustrator palettes. This is um, the FX one. There's also the Zombie palette. If you don't have any of those things, just go ahead and use regular makeup or you can use regular face paints. Uh, water-based paint. When applying prosthetics and liquid latex, apply it to a clean face. So I do have a bit of foundation on. I'm going to clean off any foundation that is on my face and any eyebrow that I've filled in as well. That is quite the two-tone look. I'm going to start by blocking out my eyebrows. So we're going to do that with a glue stick and the process involved in this is literally just putting glue stick over your eyebrow, then powdering, and then we can use liquid latex once you've gotten enough layers. And I'm only gonna block out about half of my eyebrow because she has uh, the front corner of her eyebrow showing still. Now that about half of my eyebrow or three quarters of my eyebrow is covered, I'm gonna take my palette knife and go right into the Ben Nye's nose and scar wax and start pulling chunks of it out. And I'm gonna actually apply it straight to my face. It's perfectly fine to start out with kind of a thin layer and then to build up a little bit more after. We're gonna want it to be a little bit thick because we're gonna want to create texture afterwards. You'll notice that once you get to the cheek part, the inner cheek, that part is a little bit thinner. So you can blend, you can start to press a little bit further to make this blend out so that the thickness is really concentrated more on the cheekbone rather than the inner part of your cheek. Oh, it's crazy, look at that. Ah! You'll notice in the picture that she has a bit more right down here, so it's almost gonna look like jowls when you add some thickness. Okay, now that I have the base down, I'm gonna go ahead and start blending out the edges with liquid latex, and then we're gonna do the detail. It's really important to blend out the edges because if you don't, then the places where your skin starts to sweat or there's more moisture, that is where the gar wax is going to start peeling up. So we want to make sure that we use the latex to help glue it down. I almost forgot. Very important part, putting our petroleum jelly around our hair so that we don't get it all full of liquid latex and then pull out most of our hair later. Now we're going to let it dry. Once it's dry, we're going to set it with our setting powder. The setting powder also helps to take off the shine. So right now you can see a lot of shine on my forehead. It doesn't look very natural at all and so we want to make sure that it looks as natural as possible. Make sure that the liquid latex is definitely dry before you put on your powder, otherwise you're going to lose one of your brushes because it'll ruin the bristles. So be very careful or just use a brush that you don't really care about. You can also use a hair dryer to speed up the process. Now that we've powdered it, it definitely looks like some areas are lighter than others. Don't worry about it. We're going to even that out with our foundation in a little bit. First, we're going to take our sculpting tool. We're going to indicate that there's almost like scales on her face, right? They're not going to be so perfectly sculpted 
that they look exactly like dragon scales, but they are gonna look almost like crisscross patterns and some kind of organic shapes as well. So don't feel like you need to stick to one particular pattern. You can definitely be creative in this area, but I'm using the reference photo just to use as inspiration. Now that we've created the scales, I'm gonna go over this again with the liquid latex just so that it doesn't keep on moving around. I really wanna set it now, and then we'll go back in with our powder to set it, and then we'll do the foundation. Word of advice, don't open your eye after you put liquid latex on it because you will glue your eyelid to itself. Okay, now that I have my latex on, carved, latexed, powdered, I'm gonna put on the True Blend by CoverGirl all over the scar wax that I just applied. This is going to even out the appearance so it looks like my skin is all one skin tone and then we're gonna go back in with the paint and start giving it that gray color. All right, now we're gonna start going in with color. So, the color we're gonna be using is gray because it's called grayscale. There is actually a little bit of brown in there too, so uh, in order to define these, we're going to go into the crevices, add a little bit of a darker color, and then we're also going to just go on top with the lighter color. I'm going to use the Zombie Skin Illustrator palette, the rice paper color, which is this color right here, for some of the um, lightening of just the, the top parts. And then I'm going to go back in with a mix of black and white from the Skin Illustrator FX palette. I'm just gonna blend those two into a light gray and I'm gonna put that right on top. And for the in-between spots, I'm gonna use a little bit of black and a little bit of midnight brown from both palettes. While I'm painting, I'm gonna be painting individual scales because I don't want it to just be a blanket of all the same color. So feel free to use a brush for this. You can use a sponge, but like I said, I'd like to make each scale look individually a little bit different from the one next to it. As you can see, I'm doing shadowing on the bottom parts of the scales, and then I'm gonna go back in with the lighter gray and add the highlights. Now that I have the base color on the scales and I've done a bit of um, highlighting and, and contouring for each of them, I'm gonna go back in with a very tiny brush and this time I'm going to go in between the cracks. I'm gonna mix midnight brown in a little bit of black to try and get in between these little grooves and really define each of these scales. I actually wanna go a little bit lighter because the midnight brown seems to be a little too dark so I'm gonna mix the rice paper and midnight brown together. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's the look. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and the first special effects look that I've done thus far. And I hope to see you again. So if you like what you saw today, please subscribe for more videos. Give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends if you really love me. I will be seeing you again. Thank you. Bye. Oh, you look sexy. Fine. Oh, that's a good look. Fine. Hi, Julie's fans. She's great. This is my Jason. Hi. That's some, that's some good. <laughs> Very creepy. Can I touch it? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I now you're going to get it. <gasps> no. Where? Here in this one. <gasps> it's fine. 
Oh, wait, you were rolling. What? Yeah. You were oh rolling. my god, don't do that. <laughs> you scared me so much. Okay. What are you looking for, babe? I need a face exfoliation. You can say that again. A face exfoliation. Oh, I actually do, though. <laughs> I didn't get your joke. That's funny. Though. Oh, thanks, babe. You're welcome. I'm very really shocked, babe. This is Hollywood. That's very true. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Oh uh, yeah. It smells like Christmas a little bit. Ah! It looks like Christmas, babe. It does. I'm so happy. Pet? Yeah. 